Hello friends, Dolphin here, and today this is the third part of Can You Beat Resident Evil 7 on Madhouse mode, only using a circular saw. And, well, that's what we are doing. So, um, I don't really know what else to say, really. Uh, so I guess if you want, we can just jump right into it, you guys. So let's just go. Okay, you guys, there's not really a talk about too much here, but I just want to talk uh, uh, and say that I got to the recording room without really attacking anything. All you really have to do is just go in the room with the fuse um, box in it and just grab the fuse and then go to the door and put the fuse in the door and just run upstairs the, to the, to the uh, recording room. Uh, and I got up here and uh, the part where you have to like watch the recording, this part was fairly easy um, because um, to your right in the room, there is a, uh, your storage box, and I don't know why, but apparently stuff, f like, carries over, um, and I was able to, uh, just grab my stuff from the, f uh, storage box, like my circular shot, and I was able to, uh, do this fairly, fairly easy. It wasn't really nothing too hard. It was all easy, uh, nothing too bad. So, that's all I want to talk about. Yeah, that's it. Now, I ended up making it to the room where that whole, like, recording happened. And, uh, the box was still in there, so I ended up grabbing the circular shot out of there. Um, and I really just wandered through the halls, like, I don't know, just, like, uh, looking for stuff, trying to prepare in order to go downstairs in order to get Ethan. But the only problem with these halls is that, you see that? That bullcrap right there. <laughs> the, there's big ginormous molded in the hallways. And it's uh, like some of them even jump scared me and scared the crap out of me. I got really scared at this part a little bit. But like, like it wasn't like they scared me. Like, oh crap, they're right there. And like they scare me. None of that was like, it was no problem with that. It's just like um, getting past them was the hard part. Now, there's certain rooms that you can go into, but they can't go into, and you can go into these rooms, and basically when you go in them, they'll despawn and they'll just go away, and then you can walk out, and hopefully they won't be there, but then sometimes they'll spawn back in, and you gotta go into another room where they can't go into and have them go away, so this part was very stressful, but I ended up getting through it without losing again, so that's good, and... I don't know, this part was just very stressful, but I got through it. So let's just move on to the next. So I ended up getting the fuse box for the elevator, and I had to get the cord, and I knew the fat mold was coming, but apparently I, I wasn't expecting, because I was checking around the room first, trying to grab everything, but uh, apparently when I roamed near the cord, the fat molded ro roared, and it came in the room. And I don't know if you guys saw, but I looked back, um, at the beginning, I ended up looking backwards in order to check for the fat molded. I don't know why I did that, because that wasted, like, a ton of time, which is a stupid idea to do. And I was not, I was not expecting it to happen so fast. I was, like, expecting, like, to wait a little bit, then I was gonna grab it and be ready. But no, it just, like, hurled itself at me, and I was not ready, so I just started grabbing crap, grabbing the cord immediately. And I closed the door on the way out so that they couldn't follow me. And I ended up getting through this part first try, and that was really good. And I got the elevator working and all that stuff. And nothing else of, like, really interest happened afterwards. So let's just move on to the next part. So we have another fail in the challenge, because this part is where a fat molded shows up. And at this point in the challenge, I was like, oh, forget it. We're nearing the end. I'm just going to blow him up. And I blew him up, and... Now I think back on it, I actually probably could have killed this guy using, um, uh, the circular saw. But then I'm kind of thinking, like, I don't know if I could have. Because, like, every time you hit him with, like, these fat molded with the circular saw, they're, like, blood comes out and squirts you. And then, like, you're, like, open for attack and you can't, like, basically attack them without their blood just coming out and hitting you in the face. And it's super hard. So, like, I, I we ended up failing up for a fourth time on this and... I mean, who cares, we're gonna fail a lot more, so let's just move on. So after finding Ethan, uh, I ended up, uh, talking to the Baker family, um, 
And the reason why I'm kind of skipping ahead a lot during this, like, playthrough is because I'm trying to, like, hurry up along. Because, like, I really don't want to cut this into four parts, so I'm trying to skip ahead a lot in this. So please don't, please don't, um, judge me. If you guys want to, uh, to, like, me, if you always want me, like, to upload the videos for, like, proof, I can do that. But I'm just skipping ahead a lot in this because I really don't want to cut this into four parts. I really don't. So, on to the next clip, I guess. Alright, so after getting into the mines, you end up having to fight, um, what people call Mama Molded, and, uh, also a regular, um, uh, big fat molded. Um, and yeah, I failed the challenge again right here, but I, at this point, I didn't really care. Uh, so this is about five fails now, but, uh, for some reason, like a big stupid dumb dumb no brain head, I ended up not recording the final part of like this, uh, like the final part of this, like where you get to like Evelyn. So now I had to go back and record that all, which is pretty annoying, but who cares? I, I, it's done and over, so let's just go on to that clip now. Alright, I just got done recording the final bit, and this is it. Um, yeah, when I said that I just got done last time saying that I got done recording the final bit, I actually left, went to the Resident Evil, and then recorded the final bit. This part right here where Evelyn gets on the wall, this part actually kind of scared me at first, because I remember seeing that... Uh, if you get too close to Evelyn, she'll bite your legs off. And I thought, like, ah, oh, crap, if I get too close to Evelyn with my circular shot, she'll bite my legs off. But I remember seeing, like, in knife playthroughs, uh, knife-only playthroughs, that people are able to get closer and, like, knife her. But, like, I was wondering, well, they never did it with a circular shot. Do you think that she'd bite my legs off with a circular shot? But, no, I got past this part actually fairly easily. No, no, actually, problems. And I, I actually got through this part. Uh, all I did was really just go up to her and really saw her. And I got through it in about, like, at least probably ten seconds. Literally, it was only, like, ten seconds. Fairly easy, actually. Not too bad. So, that's really it. And now we come to the final bit. Where the gun gets dropped to Ethan and you have to use it. Now... I don't know if you guys want to say that I failed the challenge here. I don't know, because, like, you technically have to use the gun. There's no way in avoiding it. You have to use the gun, which is kind of annoying. But I have to in order to finish the game. But, uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, like, I couldn't, like, force myself not to use it. I had to use it. But that's actually it. That's the end, you guys. Now, um, I guess I'm, like, the only person on YouTube who's actually ever recorded a Can You Beat Resident Evil 7 Only Using a Circular Saw. Now, if you guys did watch to the very end, thank you very much for watching my entire bullcrap and rambling on. Thank you for watching this all. I'm very glad that you actually did watch all three of the episodes, because I worked very, very hard on them. Thank you very much. And, well, this is mostly it. Thank you, guys. And, well, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Actually, before I go, tell me what challenges I should actually do um, next. And I might do them. Put it in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much. And, well, goodbye.